Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining ladder friction. So, let's get started. For that, first I will draw the diagram. This is a rough wall. Having coefficient of friction mu suffix w since it is for wall. Here there is a rough floor. Having coefficient of friction mu suffix f for the floor. Then there is a ladder. I am indicating the ladder with the help of a line. Which is joining or which is connected to the floor and the wall. The ladder is having an inclination of theta. Then its length is capital L and exactly at the half of the length will be the CG or the center of gravity for the ladder where the weight would be acting at L by 2 distance. Now this weight of the ladder would be acting in a downward direction. So weight is acting in the downward direction which is m into g. Because of the weight acting in the downward direction there would be a force or we can say a motion which would try to slide down this ladder. So there is a downward motion due to the weight it would try to slide down and here also it would try to slide back and this is an example that when the weight is acting the motion is downward along the wall and on the floor it is towards left when it is sliding down. Now since the wall is rough it would be offering a reaction at this point which is the normal reaction offered by the wall. Similarly, there would be a reaction which would be offered by the floor at this point. Rf the reaction offered by the floor. Now as we know the motion is acting in the downward direction onto the wall. There will be a force of friction which would be acting upward. And that frictional force is denoted by F. It is for wall so F suffix W. That will be mu W into Rw. Since the friction force is coefficient of friction into normal reaction. So that is the force of friction offered by the rough wall. Similarly, I will get the force of friction offered by the rough floor. Since the motion of sliding is towards the left. So there will be a force of friction which would be acting towards right. And since it is by the floor, so F suffix F value is mu F the coefficient of friction for the floor into Rf the normal reaction offered by the floor. Then once we have completed this we can solve the problems related to ladder friction by using the three conditions of equilibrium and those are summation of all horizontal forces equal to zero considering the rightward forces as plus and leftward as minus or negative. Similarly, we can solve it by taking the second condition of equilibrium summation of Fy is equal to 0 wherein upward forces are positive and downward forces negative. Then we can use the last condition which is summation of moment about either I can say at the floor this is contact point A and at the wall it is B. So either we can calculate the moment about A or about B in order to calculate the reactions. So summation of moment is equal to 0 for equilibrium condition wherein the clockwise moments are positive and the anti-clockwise moments are taken as negative. So in short that was a video regarding the ladder friction and here we have to consider the weight of the ladder. If we are not considering the weight of the ladder we have to see that if any external object or if we are trying to climb this, climb this ladder then it would be sliding down and then the force of friction is offered. So that was a video regarding ladder friction. At the end, 
If you'll find my videos helpful, you'll can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.